the formidable robot. The Thief and the Cobbler. What a movie. It was a movie started by Richard Williams, of Roger Rabbit fame, in 1964. It was eventually bought by Warner Brothers, and released by the Completion Bond Company and Miramax in 1993. The Calvert version was badly butchered, changes in Calvert's version and Miramax's can be seen here and there respectively, adding four songs and giving Tack a voice for example. The Miramax added more songs and butchered it more. However, not all things were butchered. In all versions, Zigzag was voiced by Vincent Price, and many minor characters had their voices kept through all versions, like Chief Ruthless, the Brigand, and the soldier who warns not of one eye. Plus in 2006, Garrett Gilchrist got a lot of sources of the thief, including Williams' work print, to make the closest we can get to the true thief. It adds all the old voices, Sean Connery doing tax only line, and not voiced by Anthony Quayle, and removes a lot of the Miramax Calvert edits. Except a couple. The witch appears as an eye, zigzag and tax still fight, and the thief is still praised for returning the golden balls for example. But there is one version unlike any other. It removes all the edits, and I mean all. It is also in a better quality. There is no trace for this copy, except one that is on a VHS tape named, Test, How It Evolves For. The video however has a dark past to it though. Many people who have seen it have gone mad, and a few died. The people who have gone mad received an email one hour before they went mad. A lucky number only had extreme nightmares for a couple of weeks. It won't work on NTSC VCRs, but only on PAL VCRs. It starts off normally, with Felix Elmier doing the intro, and the thief dragging Tack out onto the square, where Zigzag steps on one of Tack's tacks. Ha ha ha. Some noteworthy parts of the video are some lines forming around the top, but that's pretty much all for the first 15 minutes. After that, it's pretty normal, but some major lines appear. Also, the Golden Balls sequence is cut from the movie. When they get to the Mad and Holy Old Witch, some parts skip over. Also, the Holy Old Witch doesn't make any noise, but some mumbles. Tack is still pale also. Sometimes, he acts like he is very tired, with a drooping motion and bad ear eyes. Another thing I noticed is that there is no one-eye appearances until Zigzag provides him with the golden balls. He looks like he just got out of a fire, major burns across his face. Zigzag at this point doesn't seem to be willing to do one-eye's biddings. Sometimes, he looks like he wants to get out of one eye's face. The final battle happens. When the death machine is being built, the music is sometimes slow, and sometimes it doesn't even have music at all. Also, harmless people are being put into the death machine, not one eyes. When Tack, Yum Yum, Hernani and the other guys get to the death machine, Tack gets very pissed off. Anyways, too fucking lazy to use random voices for the character's dialogue. He walks away, not talking to Yum Yum, even though she says. Tack, please no. Zigzag looks at Tack, and says. Humph, another soul. Tack doesn't even fight Zigzag. He fires the Tack, and nearly hits Zigzag. It throws him off his horse. The Tack bounces off the one eyes as usual, but then hits a guy in the back, making him scream and fall, his sword cutting the rope to the catapult. It does the Rube Goldberg desk sequence, but with edits. First off, the one eyes are replaced with ordinary people, and secondly, when they get hurt, blood appears from the wounds. The worst part is the lava part, with charred bodies floating in the lava, still burning. It cuts instantly to the thief, climbing up the stairs. He is too lit, however, a rock knocks him off, killing him. The machine falls apart, and one eye gets sat on, like the recoggled cut. However, Zigzag's death is more gruesome. There is actual light in the cave, Zigzag gets eaten by alligators, and his head bit off by Fido. You could imagine what it would look like. Then it cuts to the three golden balls, scorched but still there, rolling to the heroes. They cheer, and put the golden balls on the minaret. Then the golden city explodes, people's ribs and organs visible. The last shot before the tape ends is a, brace yourself, hyper-realistic body of Zigzag. Yes, hyper-realism is fucking done in these old lost episode stories. I wondered why someone would do this. Who would be so rotten enough to do this? Hold on, I just got an email.